Salutations, queens and kings. Welcome back to GKJJ. And as you can see, we have a very special video for you. Highly requested. Everyone was asking us to do a tour of our 2013 Chevy Spark. So that's what we're going to be doing. Before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up and make sure to share this video with other people as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. King, show them the details. Boom. So again, this is our 2013 Chevy Spark. It is a wonderful. Jala the color is jalapeno green. It actually mm -hmm. says that when, when we purchased it. I'm gonna go over the specs and features for those spec and feature heads out there. Mm -hmm. This is a four door hatch, hatchback. It has four seats, cute cup holder in the middle. I like it also has like a little um, cubby hole right there for you to sit different things. Ignore the purse and the case but also has the cup holder back there. This is a four, what is this? Four speed manual actually, five speed manual, excuse me. And combined miles, you see our sticker shift right there. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you think we should change that to something else. Cause I know there's like all these sick different um, switches that you can put on here where it could be like a dice or a skull, something like that. So comment down below if you all have the same thing combined miles per gallon 32 all right total mm -hmm. seating like i said four and for highway 37 miles per gallon and then for city 28 miles per gallon the tank 9.2 gallons and regular fuel engine and all that well we're not gonna show them under the hood are we nah we gotta do all that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that, i mean that's that's pretty much it i love this little car the main thing that i love about it is the fact when we first purchased this car believe it or not i couldn't drive a stick king knew how to drive a stick in terms of tractors and stuff right king like, right <laughs> so he was able to drive it off the lot for us and then we both you know got better at it and like i said i love this car i love the um this is another feature that i love the door handles right here we picked people up before and they're like where's the uh where's the handle I love it, love it, love it. We just got to kiss through some uh, clean and stuff here. I'll take you in the front seat. Well, King will take you in the front seat. Go ahead and get inside of that. You know, I was happy about when we purchased the uh, car. Was I thought, well, this is kind of one of the things that I thought was going to happen. This is a really nice big screen. And what I thought I was going to get is, I'm sorry, y'all. Not about that life right now. But what I thought, the screen is very nice, very big, very lovely. Sorry, start over. Screen is very nice, very big, very lovely. What I, and go to the menu here, gives you all these different options. You can connect your smartphone. Sorry, y'all. Car tripping. Either way. So yes, you can connect your smartphone if you wanted to. They have the telephone feature here. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work because I actually don't have my, um my smartphone connected but it'll have like a little dial pad and everything for you and then here as well sorry thank you mm -hmm. and then you know different settings it has all these dope settings you can customize where you actually want your um thank you you can customize where customize where you want your different things set up got the mm -hmm. time and date language of course um even how loud you want your radio to play when you turn your car on i thought that was pretty dope and in your audio you can actually change where you want your um where you want your your music to play in your car like mm -hmm. i have it right centered in the middle but if it was just king and i i'll move it up towards the front and you can put it over towards my side or i could put it over towards his side but i just put it in the middle for now and you see you got all these different tone settings i just thought that was really dope um i want to say the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted it to have a Bluetooth. I mean, not a Bluetooth. What is it called? GPS. Mm -hmm. A GPS, but it doesn't have that option unless you download an app. There's apps that you can download as well that you can have um, on there. I should have connected. Let me connect my phone right quick just so I can unlock some of the other things on the screen. Now, like Queen mentioned too as well, the process is actually pretty quick. When you get into the car, I know you heard that in the beginning, you got nice little, I mean, you know, alarms that let you know we went ahead and connected. Um, 
your device, which is actually pretty pretty quick for your smartphone. Yes, again, that's pretty much what I meant. All of these different applications. You have Pandora here. Mm -hmm. Of course, we all know about Pandora. Uh, Stitcher, which is actually uh, for you to put um, uh, uh, different videos and also i believe photos together and they're actually run through a screen which i thought that was something different uh right. tune in i'm not too sure what tune in that application is but this is but. the one that i was excited about when we first got it i thought it says bring go and i thought i was gonna have the we were gonna have the gps sitting here whenever we were driving but you actually have to pay for a subscription and download each of these apps you have to download them on your phone mm -hmm. and they're not just apps that are on your car like some right. other cars i have but again, this is a 2013. Who knows what they've done with the 2020 version and all that stuff. Exactly. But here, there you go. For my telephone, I can just mm -hmm. go ahead and dial it right cool. there. I like that it's not taking up, the keypad is not taking up space on the actual dash of the car. Right. Because there was a car that we sh they were showing us, um, another car they wanted us to purchase, and it had like this real stupid keypad right here. And I'm like, I'm not going to be in my phone on a call center. Like, why do I need a keypad, <laughs> you know, right. sitting right there all the time? So I really like that. Go to your phone history and is there anything did i not click on anything else picture and movie i don't even think we've ever um used that so no yeah but yeah that's the inside i love this this actually glows at night mm -hmm. these right here these Our glow knobs. at night yes i mm -hmm. love 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 that Oh, uh, nice also too as well. Got you know a little cubby hole here. You see our sunglasses. Nice little easy setup. We got a whole aisle right there too as, as well right there in the, in the middle. Or just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Just chilling. Nice uh, convenient place for the glasses. Absolutely. Got oh, a nice glove box. I'm not gonna show you the glove box because exactly. it's a little junky. Uh, <laughs> but um, okay, you got you got your two, you got your two yes. uh, cup cup holders here right there. I got the emergency brake. Mm -hmm. And then up here, this is a nice uh, cubby hole that I like over here um, for the person who's sitting here. I really wouldn't recommend putting too much, anything that's um, abrasive in here. Mm -hmm. It's going to scratch the paint. Over there as well, if you go over here towards the driver's side, they have this cute little cubby hole right here. It seems like your phone would be nice right there. I placed my phone in here before, but ended up leaving it because you can't see it past the steering wheel. If you lay back, you right. can't, <laughs> you really can't see it at all. It's just chilling right there. Uh-huh, you'll get out of the car like, where's my phone at? And then that's also where you can also change the mirrors here mm -hmm. and adjust the lighting of the knobs in the car. Uh, cargo mm -hmm. So that's yeah, this. Oh, and this is the other thing. Sorry, go yes. ahead. Ooh, where are we about also, to? additional features too as well. Um, there are there are different models. Like I believe the LS, where it gives you a fog uh, a fog option as well. Mm -hmm. Fog lights. This one does not, but that's fine. You know, you got your <laughs> speedometer as well. Like uh, like Queen's going to show you. Uh, this is actually really cool. Is, um, your, is the door not closed? Yeah, we're good now. So uh, this gives you an option to actually go over the age of your of, of your oil of uh, your oil life. We're at seventy seven percent. That's really you know we're still really good. We're not tripping. Now you can All press right. the different menu and up and down, clear reset exactly. over here. You can clear, clearly reset too as well. If you wanted to track a trip. Exactly. If you want to go through the process tracking the trip right now, I have it on how many miles until we need to get to a gas station, uh, like Queen is doing right now. Just going over the actual miles. We're close to 100,000 miles as you all can see but to be honest with you we've been very chill with this car average 31.4 I believe uh, yeah miles per gallon so that's our average 34.1 miles per gallon all right, we're doing good, y'all. We're doing good. We, get, we can always do better, but we're doing really good. <laughs> um, like I said, not too far off from the hundred uh, from the hundred thousand mile range, mm -hmm. and you know anyone that has has a vehicle that you know they've been able to keep up over a hundred mile range, good for you. You understand the life. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so you all can actually see the inside and how it feels when you're sitting back. It's nice and spacious. Lean the seat back, y'all. Just gonna lean the seat back so you can. Very nice. Me. Very comfy. Exactly. If you had to wait on your mom in the store, it's the perfect car. Exactly. Because you can lean all the way back. All the way back. And as you can see, we're in the back seat too, as well. So yes. this is more so, like like Queen said, more so a car for 
two. For two people. For I would two. recommend, um, if you have like a large family where anybody's going to be sitting in the back, mm -hmm. I just wouldn't recommend this car because you, when you're driving in the back and you're sitting, not driving in the back, when you're sitting in the back and someone's driving, mm -hmm. you can feel all the inertia of the car, all yes. the G-forces, everything when that yes. person is driving. When you feel them shoot off, you're like, like in a, um, when you're on a roller coaster. Yes. Now, what we're going to do is take you for a nice little ride here in our 2013 Chevy Spark. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to let you it know. It is a manual. Exactly. All of the feelings, all of the wonderful, wonderful jolts and everything that happens in the manual. So let's get straight to it. First and foremost. Safety first. All right. Safety first. You don't worry about that, real man. Wear this. Don't worry about that. I uh, flipped it. Yeah, it's all good. He said, uh, "Real men wear what? <laughs> the cheetah print." Cheetah print. <laughs> all right. So, first thing you want to do, especially inside of a manual, a manual car, you're gonna have three pedals. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed you that, but those are your three pedals down here. Can you it's see? furthest one that I'm pressing on now. See that one right there? This one is going to be for our manual gearbox. Okay, so we're gonna shift the gear clutch. Oh, we got a truck going by. Hold on, give us a second. Great. So making sure nobody's around this, what you do is you press down on the clutch, specifically to start this car. You got the key, boom, you turn it let up off the clutch something else that i do want to let you all know that anytime that you start a manual all right and if it's in gear once you take your foot up off of that clutch and you start it the car will start to move or want to move in that gear so always make sure that you're in neutral Yes, and Before if you, you some people when they stop their car, they actually put it in first gear right. and lock it that way. So when someone turns it on, they don't know what they're doing. It'll go ahead and stall, and then you're trying to figure out what did I do. Exactly. So most of the time we just leave it in neutral some people do leave it in that first and like you said you would have to take that out of that gear before you let go of that um, clutch exactly will stall. exactly and the stalling is violent exactly <laughs> so what we're going to do is go ahead and get, uh, get down on our e-brake we'll make sure queen is nicely safe here yeah. inside so the, the car, car does not start unless both of the seat belts right are locked i'm just kidding all right so a nice safety feature though. e brake down i also have my foot on my right foot is going to be controlling two pedals now mm -hmm. my right foot is going to be controlling the brake which i have right now and also the gas what i'm going to want to do is take my time foot down on the clutch while i also have my, my left foot is going to be on the clutch while my right foot is also going to be on the brake before we pull off and since we can't go forward we're going to have to be in reverse clutch it's down I'm in reverse as yep. you can see I'm gonna Whatever take my foot slowly off of the brake and then slowly off the clutch while pressing the gas now you actually don't have to press the gas because when you're in a manual the clutch actually goes up like halfway you'll start to feel the car moving you'll feel that the clutch is engaged and the car will actually start moving for you so I haven't even touched the gas here. It's all by itself. I'm gonna want to give it some gas very slowly while I'm coming up off of the clutch. You're starting to feel the engagement between the two. But right now, since I'm going slow, I'm just gonna take my time. And if you're on a hill as well, like it neutral helps. is your best friend. You won't have to reverse if you're on a hill. You can just put your car and turn it on, leave yes. it in neutral and just take your foot off the uh, clutch and the brake. Now I have no feet on either clutch nor brake nor on the gas. We're in the parking lot, we're all safe. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drive down a little bit. I'm just gonna show you at least first oh, and good. second you know yeah getting in the first and then hopefully second gear in this parking lot so come with us while we get this done clutch down first gear engage we're going to come up off of the clutch very slow with our left foot you're going to feel that engagement halfway through you're actually going to feel the car starting to move this is all you congratulations i can actually come up off the clutch now that the car is moving by itself but we're only going to go so fast all right so again i have not done anything 
the car is moving by itself but what I want to do is give it some gas so just a little bit while we're in first gear you start to feel the car take off and you're starting to feel the inertia and then in the actual engine start to give itself some power in that first gear now if you pay attention to the rpms of the speedometer we've gone past a thousand rpms we're probably kicking around 12 maybe you know, I'm gonna get close to 2,000 RPMs. And then the, at the this doors point. start to exactly. lock once you go past like 10 miles per hour. Which is an awesome automatic feature that this car has locking. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna go down into another parking lot where we are, and I'm just gonna come up so I can also show you all the feature of this car when we're going uphill. Let's see if yes. you stop. All right, so I'm actually putting the clutch down coming up real slow I've already kicked into second gear and I'm coming up real slow I want to let you all know that's probably one of the most amazing feelings is when you get yourself in the second gear I know I'm moving fast right now but no worries when you get yourself in the second gear and you see you see I'm getting back in the first but you get yourself in the second gear that's when you actually start to feel a little bit more confidence in your driving which is always something that we want you to remember confidence especially with the stick is key because mm -hmm. you don't want to be out there and not have any type of confidence and you're wondering why you're not able to get off and go where you want to again we're only in first gear we're just traveling around the parking lot we're just letting you know how easy it is to drive you a stick see that in the exactly we got a nice little cor you know corvette over here <laughs> So, uh, like I mentioned, we're still in first gear. We're just traveling around the parking lot. We're actually going to go up a hill right now, and I'm going to show you the hill assistant. That the, that the car has a, that's a great feature of the car, a hill assist. Yes. So you don't just end up um, going back down the hill. All right, so you all feel it that? The car is actually trying to get up this hill by itself. I am going to actually stop it from getting up the hill by itself, and I'm going to show you the hill assist. All right? And then now it's not when once he goes to engage in first gear, it will lock like the back tires almost and like push you forward. Make sure you're just going forward yep. and not rolling backward. So I'm locked in. Boom. Now the car it may not feel the hill assist because of the angle that we're at right now, mm -hmm. and that's completely fine. But that is a feature that is definitely um, utilized. Sorry, we also have someone. Can you just yes. Can you pull off? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and, and utilize the hill assist right now. Boom. I'm just gonna try and take it real slow, get into the parking lot, we'll come back out, and again, take your time coming off of that clutch. Don't rush it. I think I'm gonna show you what it feels like when you do rush it, all right? So like I said, just go through the parking lot. I'm gonna try and get yourself in the second gear. Feeling the RPMs go up. We're past 2,000 RPMs, we're going to three. 3,000 RPMs, come on. Clutch down, very slow. Already in second gear, coming up. Boom, now you're going straight. I done came up off the clutch very slow. We're in second gear, we're taking our time. What we're gonna do is make our nice little U-turn, and I'm gonna show you what it feels like when you stall out. This is something that a lot of, you know, new new folks feel, you know, oh my God, I think I broke something, I stalled out, and now it happens, you feel me? So I'm just gonna show you what it feels like. And you don't wanna, you know, stall out too much. But, that's all you do, all right? Stalling out happens when you don't have enough That's gas. Yeah. Yes, when you don't have enough gas um, after you came off of the clutch a little too fast, and that's what uh, what happened earlier. In the yeah, but in, fir in first gear, that's mostly what you're going to experience if you're right. not getting that perfect matchup of the gas and exactly. letting off the clutch. Exactly. So again, I'm just going to do a slight little stall so you all know what it feels like. Don't be afraid. Oh. He didn't let it stall, but you heard you heard that a little bit. Exactly. So here we go. We're just gonna show you what it feels like to stall out. That's a stall out. All right, All right. I'm gonna get out of the car so I can get him going past. Exactly. Cool. So that whole process. Hey y'all, so that whole process there was just me in first gear. During that whole time inside the car, like I said, first gear, very chill. I'm gonna show you what it looks like stalling out, but just on the outside, okay? Let's 
down. That's the stall out. Sorry, you gotta do it one more time. I had to zoom out. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep, stall out from the outside of the car. Exactly. So I'm gonna show you a stall out. What it looks like you let go of the clutch way too fast. First gear. That's the stall out. So y'all, what y'all think? What do you all think of the 2013 Chevy Spark? This is amazing for anyone that lives in the city. If you're someone that's just thinking about, uh, you know, <laughs> this is not a flattering position. All right, y'all, but we do appreciate you checking, uh, checking out our video when it comes to uh, actually the reason why we made it was for yes. our crossing over of 100 subscribers. Yes. It's very quick. And Shout we do out to all of our 100 subscribers that yes. we have so far. 100 and growing. Our next yes. goal is 500, then 1,000, yes. then 4,000. Yes. So we can start monetizing the page. Yes. Keep checking in with us. We'll always do some other great car reviews. Um, again, this is just what we do. We uh, used to live in the city. This is great for us, yes. especially when it came to um, commuting. We, we commuted from Maryland through DC to Virginia every day for almost a year. Yes. And this was perfect for that. Yes. So again, if you're interested in purchasing a 2013 Chevy Spark, hopefully this video and this review helped you all, especially mm -hmm. if you're thinking about trying a manual for the first time give it a try it's very fun and convenient we want to thank you for always showing us love and tuning in this is queen jam and king jerry, jerry. Yes. and we're gonna tune out but catch you next time <laughs> all right y'all and remember to hit that subscribe button below yes and share this video with other car enthusiasts yes. all right and anyone who's looking to get a, a chevy spark because every time we go to the dealership to get our oil changed they're like are you trying to trade in your vehicle are you trying to trade in your vehicle no mm -mm. the only other thing that we didn't mention as well with the chevy spark whenever you're driving on the highway or at a high rate of speed you have to have all four windows at least crack you can't have just two crack mm -hmm because it sounds like there's like a warping happening. You just hear boom, 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 boom. And you have to roll or down or crack each window. That's another little feature that I found. But, but again, other than that, we love, love, love the car. And you yes. know, it's the design of it. Exactly. Very true to itself. Yes. And again, we hope that you stay true to yourself, but we thank you, love you. Check us out next time. Bye. Ooh, I pressed the play button.